friends welcome to my channel my name is Wolo I want to say thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel um, it's two days to election day so 21st of October is the Canadian elections and we don't know what's gonna happen after the elections and if the government is gonna change hopefully on the 21st which is on monday we'll be able to find out so that's by the way i want to say thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel and have seen my videos i love to share information about life in canada immigrating to canada and everything useful and in my last video i talked about um the aipp and i said that would be my next video so this is the video about aipp now there is one thing that is very unique about AIPP and it means that the employers are offering job opportunities to people outside of Canada and then for graduates in Canada. So it's about it's a pilot that started about 2 3 years ago and which the government has extended until 2021 and it's related to four provinces in Canada and you have New Brunswick, which I've talked about, I think I've talked so much about New Brunswick, and um, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, and um, Newfoundland and Labrador. So these are the four provinces that participate in the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. And it's basically employers offering employment to people um, outside of Canada and inside of Canada for those who they feel they need when there is a shortage of a labor force and they need people to occupy those positions and they can't find anybody within Canada they have an opportunity of recruiting people outside of Canada now the AIPP has three pathways and one is for the international graduates that's people who graduated in any of these provinces so if you schooled in Newfoundland or Labrador or Nova Scotia or PEI or New Brunswick, the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program that is for international graduates, uh, that's the AIGP, is the stream that is suitable for those people who finished in um, any of the colleges or universities in these provinces. But if you are a skilled worker, there's there are two options. One is for high skilled workers and the second one is for intermediate skilled workers. So these two um, categories are for people who are outside of Canada who are looking for ways to immigrate and the beauty about this program is that it has a low IELTS score, low proof of funds, it's not like the normal proof of funds that we have to present about $12,000 for the express entry, AIPP has a very low proof of funds and the applicant must get a genuine job offer from any of the designated employers in these provinces so this video is specifically for the new brunswick i will do a separate video for nova scotia and the one for prince edward island and the one for um, newfoundland and labrador because the designated employers list is is a key factor to getting an employment from any of these provinces so you have to search on that list and then apply to these companies now everybody knows that it is not easy getting an employer to recruit outside of Canada but with the AIPP if you apply to any of the designated employers and they have an opportunity available they can easily employ somebody outside of Canada without the requirement of a labor market impact assessment. So this is a very good opportunity for anybody who is kind of stuck. If you're stuck in the express entry pool, the next best option is to start searching for a job and applying to any of the employers that are listed on the designated list of employers and, you know, just stay positive and you could get a job offer from any of them. It is somehow related to the um, rural and northern immigration pilot, which I'm going to talk about in the coming week um, because it's going to take off after the election. So it's good. They've not put in the processes in place. I'll talk about that in a subsequent video, but today's focus will be AIPP on New Brunswick and I'll be showing you shortly on the website what to do and how to go about it. The first step for the Atlantic High Skill Program is to know the requirements and the requirements are having a work experience in 
knock code 0 a and b your work experience must be in either knock 0 a and b you need to have education you also need to have language requirements and you also need to have the proof of funds now the proof of funds is much much lower compared to express entry and the for a family of one it's just 3167 canadian dollars and then for a family of six is just 7528 canadian dollars so it's quite lower compared to express entry the requirement for the intermediate skilled program is also similar to that of the atlantic high skilled but knock code is different so for intermediate skilled program it's a knock skill c with two options option one and option two so you have to look at the options before you know what you're applying for and then the requirements of education which means you have to have your credentials evaluated and also have um, a language score either in IL, CELPIP, TEF or TCF and have a language benchmark of four or higher. The proof of funds is also the same amount for one person is 3,167 Canadian dollars and then for six persons it's 7,528 Canadian dollars which is um, lower compared to express entry. So if you are having problems raising the proof of funds for express entry, try the AIPP. The second requirement is your resume. So your resume is very important. You need to draft your resume, the Canadian standard, which I have given an example of. I've also done a video of the Canadian resume. This is the website of New Brunswick, which is www.welcomenb.ca. When you check the right side of the website, you will find the quick links to every information you need concerning immigrating to New Brunswick. Because our interest is on the Atlantic Immigration Pilot, I'll click on the Atlantic Immigration Pilot. And then on this page, we scroll down to click on the designated employer list because AIPP requires that you have to search for a job. And for you to search for a job, you need to search for employers that are designated to employ foreign workers from outside of Canada. So you click on the designated employer list and automatically it takes you to the designated employer list. So this is where you find information for um, employers that are recruiting persons from outside of Canada. The list is in an alphabetical order. So you, you have uh, about 16 pages of employers that are designated to employ workers from outside of Canada. To search for jobs in New Brunswick, you go back to www.welcomenb.ca and click on Working. When you click on Working, you click on New Brunswick Jobs. And then here you can see that there are over 5,100 jobs in New Brunswick. So if you are an accountant, if you're a cook, if you're a customer service person, if you're a truck driver, this is the page you should come to to search for jobs in New Brunswick. So let's say I'm looking for a truck driving job. I'll just put trucking there. I'll just put trucking and I'm not going to put any city because I just want to see the number of jobs that will come up. Click on search and you will find all the companies and um, opportunities available for a truck driver so you can on the left side you can see that in st john you have 67 opportunities in Moncton, 42 fredericton you have 31 and then you have the smaller places with smaller um availability so i'm going to choose 
delivery truck driver that is in Moncton and the name of the company is Armor Transportation Systems. So once I do this, it takes me straight to Job Bank. And in Job Bank, the information is also published in Job Bank because it's an open information for anybody who is outside of Canada and in Canada to apply because this employer is a designated employer. If I click on the designated employers list for New Brunswick and I scroll down to check for Armour Transportation, remember it's Armour Transportation that advertised for that opportunity. I search for Armour Transportation and here I can find their name here, Armour Transportation Inc. So it means that if you're a truck driver, you can actually apply for this job anywhere you are in the world. You don't necessarily have to be in Canada or live in Canada. The reason why they advertise these jobs both on Job Bank and on NB Jobs is because they, it's a requirement to advertise them for one month. And if they don't see any Canadian citizen or a permanent resident to take up this job offer then the opportunity is available for somebody outside of canada to apply and also get this job offer when you receive your letter of offer from the designated um, employer list you go back to the welcome nb.ca website and click on INB Poctal. When you click on INB Poctal, you have to register. And when you register, you will provide your information, your registration information, and then it will take you to a page where you have to put in the information of the designated employer. And it means you have to provide the designated employer number and also your letter of employment and submit. On this page is a quick guide to show you what you are supposed to do when you receive your letter of offer from the designated employer. So basically, once you receive that offer and you submit, you will receive an immediate invitation to apply, to send in your full application and then you have to submit or upload your language test results your eca your letter of employment your work permit if you have a work permit and your passport identification page when you get your certificate of endorsement from the new brunswick government then you can now proceed to apply for your permanent residence at the same time you can also apply for a temporary work permit so to apply for a permanent residence through the AIPP, you have to go to the www.canada.ca website. It's the official government of Canada website and click on immigrate. When you click on immigrate, you scroll down, choose Atlantic immigration pilot, and then scroll down and choose apply for permanent residence. When you click on applying for permanent residence, you have to choose the application package that is suitable to your own. If you're a high skilled worker and the job offer you got is a high skilled job offer, you have to choose high skilled worker. If you're an intermediate skilled worker and the job offer that you got is an intermediate skilled occupation, you have to choose intermediate skilled worker. So once you click on high skilled worker, you will find all the information you need with regards to applying for your PR. You will need the document checklist. You will also need the employer to fill in this form, which is the offer of employment to a foreign national Atlantic immigration pilot project IMM 5650. You will have to fill the employer will have to fill out that form and then you as the applicant you need to fill all these forms you see here the, it's important that you fill all these forms and to submit them it will generate a barcode which you have to um validate at the bottom of the page 
and once you do you pay the fees online to pay your fee online you click here and then submit your application so you have to send your application to the immigrations refugees and citizenship canada atlantic immigration pilot program centralized intake office p.o box 8900 sydney nova scotia and you have the postal code there so this is how you submit your application for permanent residence if you're coming um, under the atlantic immigration pilot program thank you so much for watching and have a good day bye bye